Hello my friends, welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley news. I'm sorry I'm late with this. I had a couple very hectic days, so I didn't have a chance to make an additional video to cover all these news. But today, we, we are gonna look at them all. Everything that's been announced, everything that's been speculated. We got lots of news about uh, the upcoming update. We got the Star Path hints. We got a new Critter Tease. Lots of things to go through. So buckle up, subscribe if you haven't yet. And let's see what's up. All right, so we're gonna start from the newest news to uh, to older news. So just yesterday, we got a post with a nice little sneak peek. Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2 launches in theaters today. So, which was yesterday. Which means probably a lot of you guys already saw it. So let me know in the comments if it was good or not. Uh, celebrate with a sneak peek at something arriving in our next update. Now this clearly looks like a squirrel skin. You have you can see the tail and it's not hard to figure out which squirrel skin it is. So the new character introduced in uh Inside Out 2 movie is Anxiety. She's the new and the sixth emotion inside Riley. Now I did watch I'm I'm actually proud to say I did watch the first Inside Out and uh, it was super cute. It was super cute, so I'm uh, I'm definitely gonna watch the second part as soon as I have a chance. Uh, probably gonna wait for it to come to the streaming platforms, uh, like Disney Plus. Probably gonna be the first one, and the only one to get it. But anyway, so basically they just took this hairstyle and put it on a squirrel. But to be honest, Disney Dreamlight Valley already introduced anxiety to all the players in the last patch update, thanks to all the glitches. Because <laughs> all the glitches giving players anxiety. It's it's a joke. I'll see myself out. So yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised that they give us uh, just a reskin on a squirrel instead of an actual character. I mean, it makes sense because it wasn't in the in the roadmap. But I feel like I mean, with Inside Out characters like emotions, would they fit? as a separate characters in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I feel like they might be a little bit too one-sided, but also they could be very fun. They could have very fun French quests to help those emotions to settle down. But then they do live inside a girl's head. How would it make sense to be inside Disney Dreamlight Valley? Unless the whole Disney Dreamlight Valley is inside our head because it's technically a dream. So maybe those emotions could help our character i'm starting to lose my mind i think i'll think about it a little bit more later if you think that we might get these guys in the future uh as, as playable character let me know in the comments but for now we're just gonna get another squirrel skin popcorn squirrel now this i feel like we've been getting squirrels almost every update i mean to be honest the squirrel pose is one of the best poses so i'm not so i'm not too mad about it would have been a great opportunity for Inside Out themed Dream Snap this week with the movie release and new Inside Out themed items in the premium shop, as well as the previous Inside Out items we have. It would be. It would be a great opportunity. Uh, I guess they knew that the movie was coming out, so they could have included some of the Inside Out premium items. Uh, but hopefully maybe we'll get some more Inside Out items in the next Star Path. And speaking about the next Star Path, we got a clue. Here we go. So it says... A new update is on its way. Coincidentally, there's also it also means a brand new star path. Based on the emojis below, any guesses as to what items you can expect from the next star path? All right, let's take a look. So we got a shirt and a cricket. Well, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Let me try to zoom in as, as, as much as I can. Shirt and a cricket clearly means that we're going to have a creaky t-shirt. I hope it's not just a regular t-shirt. I hope it's a more unique kind of outfit built around Creaky. Maybe it will have Creaky sitting on your shoulder. It's going to be like a costume with a bedded cage with a cricket in it. That would be cool. I hope it's not just a t-shirt with a print of Creaky on the front of it. That would be that would be a little bit disappointing, but I feel like there's a lot of cool stuff they can do with it. Uh, now, this one is person tipping hand and a folding hand fan so i'm <laughs> it kind of looks like it's we're gonna get accessory that we'll be able to hold which is a fan but once again not a lot of people i've seen are excited about accessories 
mostly because you can't take photos with them or can't use them in dream snaps. So they are pretty much mostly useless. You can only see them while running and even you cannot even see them while gliding, which in my opinion, how most people move around the valley. So right now, accessories in this weird spot where they are just not usable enough for a lot of people to justify spending moonstones on it. But if it's inside Starpath, it's a free stuff, I'll take it. Probably still better than motifs, but who knows, maybe we're gonna get some great motifs. Uh, the third one is an interesting one. It's, it's a kite. And so far, the most uh, common theory I've seen is uh, Mary Poppins. Which I didn't even know was Disney. Okay, it is Disney. Just just wanted to make sure. So technically, it's possible because there's th there was a whole uh, scene in the movie and a song about kites. So that's why people uh, think that kite points to Mary Poppins. I personally haven't. Uh, I I don't think I watched the movie. I I thought Umbrella was the thing that Mary Poppins was known for, like flying an umbrella and stuff. But I, I guess I guess it makes sense. I can't think off the top of my head any other Disney movie that heavily featured kites. All right, so Google told me a couple uh, Disney movies that featured kites. 2019 short film that's called A Kite's Tale. That's actually pretty recent. I guess it's possible. 1964 Mary Poppins features the song Let's Go Fly a Kite. And this is it. Two options. What if there is another, some kind of a, some kind of a puzzle here? Maybe it's it has nothing to do with kites. Maybe it has to do with kite, kite. There's two kites. Kite, KK. Maybe kites beach, some kind of beach. M maybe, maybe we're gonna get an actual kite as an item that you'll be able to, like, attach to something or something. I, I don't know. Let's see what people have to say. I'd love to have, uh, if we had kites that could be placed on the ground that fly up in the sky. Yeah, that's what I thought, so. Uh, that's what I thought. What if we have, like, a... Uh, what you call it? Like a fireworks item that we had in the premium shop last time? What if we had, uh, like, a kite that you interact with and then it flies into the sky and then just stays there? And then you'll be able to place a bunch of them and have super cool dream snaps with lots of kite in the sky. Okay, that's my guess. We're, get, we're gonna get an interactable kite item that you will be able to launch. And hopefully using photos. Hopefully this new star bath won't be a full-time job because I already have one. I have seen a lot of comments of people uh, basically asking for this star bath not to be as grindy as the previous one. <sighs> this is a tough one because, like, on one hand... It's normal to like it's it's the whole point of the star path so people can grind to get the rewards and uh, I, I guess star path is something that is not potentially meant to be finished what I mean is like you don't have to finish it I know a lot of people what they do is they just claim the, the rewards that they want the most and just have like half of the tasks left in it but yeah, the FOMO is going to be very strong if you get a free, like a premium star bath, pay for it, and uh, don't even uh, you aren't even able to finish it up. But to be honest, I played a couple of games that have star paths. Oh, I mean battle passes. I played Fortnite back in the day. I played Apex Legends. I played a couple mobile games that have battle passes. And if I'm being honest, Disney Dreamlight Valley Star Path is the least difficult one that I've seen. Well, granted, I haven't played all the games out there, so I'm sure there are definitely lots of games that are probably have easier battle passes. But from my experience personally, Disney Dreamlight Valley is not that bad. And also it's funny, when, when they give us more time between the updates, I see people complaining all the time that oh my god we already finished the star path there's nothing to do in the game give us the next update and now people complaining that it's too soon that we just finished the other one it's like no matter what they do they can't make absolutely everybody happy i personally think that uh well 
yes, the previous Star Path was a little bit grindier, but it wasn't because of it was it was fundamentally different. It was mostly because uh, because of the couple tasks in there, like crabs, uh, carp. Like there was a bunch of blue bubble fishing that made it very difficult. A bunch of uh, gem fishing. So uh, I mean, shiny gems mining. So if they just don't give us the worst possible things to hunt for, which are amethyst and crabs, we should be fine, even if the star path has the same structure. It's going to definitely be much easier to complete. So my point is, even if they don't change a thing, and by not changing a thing, I mean just keep the same structure, just do different gems and fishes, it cannot possibly get worse than the previous one. Let's see if I can actually complete this one without all the crashes. Couldn't do the last one since all the crashes reset my progress every time I would almost complete a task. Whoa! Okay, so that's another thing. The last Star Pass was much more difficult also for multiple reasons. Number one, we had a whole Park Fest event running at the same time with uh, lots of grinding for that one. So doing both of them at the same time could have been very, very time-consuming. Plus, we had Eternity Isle update. We're not going to have any of those things this update. So there should be more time for Star Path, and I don't think we're going to be having another huge event like that. Plus, potentially, they're going to fix all the crashes and all the glitches. So once again, it's going to be easier to do the Star Path simply because the game is going to be more stable. Less crashing, less uh, errors means much more pleasant experience grinding those Star Path tasks. So I'm I'm pretty hyped. <laughs> A lot of people actually guessing Cricket from Pinocchio. Interesting. I mean, since we know from the early uh, roadmap that we're getting Mulan update, I think it's pretty safe to assume that it's going to be Cricket from Mulan. But if we didn't have that information, it would be a toss between Pinocchio and Mulan. Yeah, a lot of people cannot catch up on the quests because of Star Paths. Honestly, I understand exactly how this feels. I still have quests not finished, mostly because I, I, I constantly find other things to do and I never have enough time for quests. I feel like it would be... Not, I, I feel like we're... Well, we're not getting update next week. So technically, this whole week we didn't have Star Path. Then the next whole week we're not going to have Star Path. So... That's a decent chunk of time to potentially catch up on some quests. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the next Star Path is not going to feel as bad because of the things I said two minutes ago. All right, and the final post I wanted to take a look at is update on high priority issues. With another free content update on the horizon and more news to follow soon, we wanted to share details on some of the fixes that were prioritized based on your feedback. So basically they're saying that these fixes are going to be implemented in the next update. So here are some of the fixes. Optimizations to improve crash rates on all platforms. Very needed feature. Objects will no longer appear as invisible. Thank you so much. Daisy will share the time when you can start your next boutique challenge. That is actually helpful. Players will be able to cook all recipes outdoors without risking a related freeze. Wait, I thought they fixed it in the last patch. I guess not. Resolutions for various dresses with clipping issues. Oh, <gasps> now that's huge. Megara dress, definitely going to be on top of that list. Various quest progression blocker resolutions. Yes. Numerous other bugs, fixes, and improvements. Uh, while we are eager to share exciting update content with you, we wanted to make sure we kept you in the loop about the status of some of the core issues impacting players' experiences. And it's our priority to resolve disruptions to your gameplay experience in the Valley. Our team is also committed to ongoing improvement and mitigation of crash-related issues. All of this sounds good, but in the end of the day, it's been over a month since the last patch, and people has been suffering especially Switch players or console players, been suffering for over a month. So I was hoping we were going to get another patch in between updates, but it's it's looking like they just decided not to release a series of small patches potentially, but actually try to... Uh, I mean, it's probably smart because they're also going to make update and they're going to test all of the stability issues on top of the update. Because if they did a patch 
and then they did an update. There was a potential that some of the issues would, would not get fixed and the update would introduce new bugs. Hopefully, them releasing them together means that we are actually getting bug-free update because of how much time it's been since they promised all these fixes. So I hope they've been working tediously for this over months to finally fix all the bugs and glitches. I'm looking forward to a very relaxing, cozy months in distant Jumlate Valley. Well, every, every comment is about how awesome this game runs and uh, not seeing any rants or vents on Reddit. Who are we kidding? There are going to be some for sure. But anyway, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, uh, Distant Jumlate Valley development team for keeping us updated. And I'm, I'm sincerely hoping that most of the issues, at least the most uh, terrible and uh, like the crashes stuff that literally prevents people from playing are resolved. I think you're caught up on all the news now and uh, I will do my best to make sure that all of the news that come out from this point on are covered promptly. I'm going to try to make a video on the same day the news come out. If it's big enough news, if it's something like, for example, if we get a date, which once again, I thought it was June 19th. I don't think so anymore. I think it's going to be at least June 26th. I feel like there is just not enough time and we don't even have any of the usual leaks or uh, spoilers from developers. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, December, uh, hopefully it's June 26th. There is a chance it's going to be in July. Honestly, there are some benefits to delaying the update. First of all, let people a chance to... Uh, replenish some of their moonstones uh, let people a chance to take a break from the star path and uh, do some of the quests so I'm I'm not gonna be super mad if they delay it by a week or two as long as we get some cool dream snaps to do I should be fine I still have lots of quests to catch up on anyway anyway let me know in the comments when do you want to see the update are you ready for it next week or are you uh, would you prefer to week to wait a week or two I'll see you in the next one and goodbye